Actress Selma Blair may be from Michigan, but after choosing her path as an actress, she's more than settled in Los Angeles. Her main home these days is a 1950s Cape Cod inspired estate that serves as a sanctuary for she and her son. And prior to this, Selma owned a modern bungalow in Hollywood. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year. So go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Selma Blair is an actress who made her mark on Hollywood in the late 90s and early 2000s in a ton of cult favorite films like Legally Blonde, The Sweetest Thing, and Hellboy. More recently, Selma has appeared in the award-winning FX series The People vs. O.J. Simpson, where she took the role of reality TV's most infamous mom, Kris Jenner, before moving on to the After film series, the sequel of which would reunite her with the director of her breakthrough hit, Cruel Intentions. But over over the past couple of years, Selma has had to slow down her output after being diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2018. And while for most actors, hiding away in a meticulously decorated house is a refreshing break from Hollywood, for Selma, her home is much more. It's where she finds joy and happiness on the days when her illness makes it too physically difficult for her to go much of anywhere at all. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment today checking out the homes of Selma Blair. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. We're gonna kick things off with a look into Selma's original LA home, a bungalow that was first built in 1922 and which she paid around $1.3 million for in 2004, right around the same time that the original Hellboy first hit theaters. Selma had also recently gone hitched to her now ex-husband, Amit Zappa, the actor slash writer son of world famous musician Frank Zappa. Soon after getting married, these two moved into this fully fenced and high hedged house that's tucked away in a leafy upscale pocket of Hollywood. Made up of three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and nearly 3,000 square feet of almost entirely white interior space, it almost feels as if you're walking inside the interior of a cloud when you step foot into this place. On the outside, the west-facing front garden has a small patch of grass with concrete stepping stones that link the front walk to the covered front porch. Not far from there is a narrow gated driveway that's hidden behind a towering hedge, and in between here in the house, you'll find a dining terrace and small concrete spa with wooden bench. There are two sets of wood frame glass doors that open from the front porch directly into the main L-shaped living space that's been divided into a foyer with a fireplace. Then there's a much homier looking family room and den, complete with a full wall of built-in cabinets and a flat screen TV. A short walk from there is a separate office space that boasts built-in floor-to-ceiling bookshelves, an antler chandelier, and a whole Whole host of windows, including some wood framed glass doors that allow for indoor and outdoor spaces to flow. Selma's former kitchen offered snow white cabinets and countertops with a huge center island, including a veggie sink, under the counter wine fridge, and a pantry and storage wall with integrated touchscreen and other commercial grade stainless steel appliances. The master suite was privately set at the very back of the residence and included a second fireplace along with some built-in cabinets at the foot of the bed, where another flat screen TV will emerge with the push of a button. The suite also includes a small but cozy sitting area with a window seat and doors leading out to the backyard. Of course, there's also a crisp black and white bathroom to anchor the suite, which includes five-star features like high double sinks, a separate makeup vanity, a soaking tub, and a separate shower stall. Last but not least, the backyard boasts some tree shaded concrete dining and lounging areas that step down to the grass where a cushioned built-in concrete sofa bench is wrapped around a fire pit. After spending about eight years living here, Selma would eventually move out of this home after her marriage to Ahmet came to an end and she was ready for a fresh start after having a child with fashion designer, Jason Bleak. 
though, she listed the home in 2012 for $1.78 million. And while her relationship with Jason wouldn't last either, the house that she found next would become her home from that point forward. When Selma first bought her new home located in the neighborhood of Fryman Canyon, her diagnosis of MS was still a few years away. That being said, she knew from the get-go that she wanted her residents to inspire a sense of cheerfulness, so she called on her close personal friend and interior designer Brian Wark to collaborate with her on the decor. She explained her thought process to Architectural Digest, telling them, Before it was just a very traditional house and it was perfectly fine, but I always felt the character was missing. Drawing inspiration from the former boarding school she used to attend outside of Bloomfield Hills, Michigan, Selma knew that she wanted to bring an East Coast feel to her Southern California residence. So she and Brian set to work, adding bold colors wherever they could. For instance, Benjamin Moore's shade of polo blue covers the primary suite ceiling while plum paint dominates the entryway's powder room. And when Selma was hesitant about adding bright orange chairs to her dining room table, Brian convinced her that it was necessary. She told AD, When we added the bold color in these little spaces, it came alive. Now the whole house has a sense of humor and it gives me some and vitality. Being the actress that she is, Selma also wanted each corner of her LA home to tell a story, a concept that she borrowed from her late friend Carrie Fisher. Carrie lived in a one-of-a-kind house that to many might have come off as cluttered, but Selma understood that everywhere you looked, there was a story being told. So after Carrie passed a few years ago, Selma bought one of Fisher's chairs from her estate sale, reupholstered it in fuchsia velvet, and it now holds a place of honor in her son Arthur's art room, where she often spends many nights reading. Back in her dining room, you'll find the space that her friends call Café Hermes Blair, an orange paradise where Selma had assembled some of her most stunning art. Since this dining room is the main gathering place in her house, Selma also installed two circular white tables, one for eating and another for working and chatting. Since Selma doesn't like to go out all that much anymore, more often than not, her friends will come to her and hang out with one another in the dining room, drinking coffee while working away on their laptops. As for her kitchen, it follows a white and blue color scheme, as well as circular kitchen table with wooden chairs. In Selma's living room, you'll find a leather sofa that gives off a modern Hollywood vibe, and to add to this aesthetic, she also replaced the original dark fireplace with white marble to increase the positive vibes. Then there's the upstairs master suite that offers crisp white linens and navy patterned wallpaper. Selma also has an antique English writing desk that pulls double duty as a nightstand. When the weather is warm, Selma and her son Arthur spend her days in their garden to unwind. Their brick patio is located just off of the kitchen and Selma has installed some outdoor furniture here along with some pendant lighting. Only a few steps away is a swimming pool and a separate hot tub that are surrounded by greenery to ensure that Selma has as much privacy as possible. All in all, Selma couldn't be happier with her home, and she's extremely pleased that she didn't go with her original idea to knock down a ton of walls to make her house more of an open concept. Instead, she now finds serenity in her cozy walled spaces that inspire her on the good days while also comforting her during the tough ones. Here's hoping that Selma continues to find peace and meet each and every day with a brave face thanks to the support that this lovely little home provides for her and her son. But that's gonna bring this house tour to an end. Let me know what you thought of her homes down in the comments as well as who we should feature next on here. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.